Now let's take some time to talk about the design mode or the prop mode under the design tab. And by default, blades is selected because we assume that you want to see the three-dimensional representation of the propeller that you've constructed. And that lets you see the twist distribution, it lets you see the cord and all of the other interesting parameters that make the propeller unique. But you might recall that if you come in and try and control some of these and manipulate them, the propeller is a very complex component. And as you add more and more of these control points, the propeller itself is slower and slower and slower to update. And if you have other components that are dependent on the propeller, or you have things nested over here in the model tree, your model is going to slow down accordingly. And if you have something that's imported with, say, tens of control points from a BEM import, then your model is going to be almost impossible to work with manually. So a way to get around that, if you really do need a lot of these points, is you come from blades mode and go to disk mode. And what disk mode is going to do is it's going to give you the actuator disk representation of this propeller. So the only thing that really adjusts this shape is the diameter. So now we can come to any one of these parameters and adjust them on the fly. And it really doesn't matter what we do here because OpenVSP is going to update that parameter, but it doesn't have to visualize anything. It doesn't have to update any of the renderings over here in the window. So it is incredibly fast. You can do this as much as you want. You can split, you can add, you can manipulate, you can drag these around, and it's all incredibly fast. And when you're done, and you've made the changes that you wanna make, either by clicking and dragging or manually entering from an equation or a table of values, Simply come back to the Design tab and come back to Blades. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell OpenVSP to go ahead and generate this mesh. So all those changes that we came in and made were fast and easy to do. And then we switched to Blades and we now have our three-dimensional representation back. And if you want, you can change to both. And what that's going to do is give you an idea of what both of them look like at the same time. Now. A reason that the disk is also important is it gives you an idea of where the actuator disk will be placed. So if you don't need the propeller visualization bogging up your model, you can leave disk activated. And this is exactly the same kind of disk that's going to be implemented if you do something like an actuator disk in VSP Arrow.